Okay, now I'm gonna put on my second bulb and I'm gonna make sure that I give myself enough wire by kind of bending all this stuff into shape the way it's gonna kind of sit in there. So, maybe to there. And that's all really rough. If I can measure that for you. And that's about 12 millimeters away from the tip of this LED. Is about where I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna strip that down. I'm gonna take another LED, cut the thing jigs off of it, uh, make myself another little bulb holdery thingy. Come in here with this. Once again to the anode, the fat contact, because we're coming from the skinny contact. And you've seen this before. Not being kind to me. But we got him. Okay, so I put on those second and third bulbs just the exact same way. And then I soldered this long wire to the cathode of the top bulb, so the skinny one, the skinny contact. So now I need to solder this wire to the other contact of the battery holder. So I'm going to trim it down. It's about there, if you want to give yourself some room. Strip this. Bend the tab up. Stick the wire through the hole in the tab. I'm just going to solder that. And remember, click on the battery holder contact so you don't melt the plastic. Push the tab back down as much as you can. Try and get your battery holder as compact as possible so it's easy to put in. And I'm going to kind of groom this into the shape I want. And those, it's kind of like the length I want. There's going to be a part inside the glow stick. Something like that. And if you want to know the distances, here is it next to centimeters and inches and stuff. You can freeze frame if you really care. Um, so now I'm going to insulate all of this right here so it doesn't touch and make the lights flicker. So I'm going to grab my tape. This little piece, whatever, doesn't matter. Wrap it around. Cut off the excess. And pack that down. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to insulate all this crap, just put this all over it, 
and fold it maybe around like here even get it on there trim off some of the excess that's all insulated okay so now I'm gonna put the LED core inside of the glow stick so I'm gonna groom it into the right shape I'm super paranoid so I think I might test it one more time Yep. okay so right now I have this oriented so that the hole here alright let's just say it like this tab is parallel to my standing body, right? So it's up and down. Whereas this battery holder is lying flat, right? Just kind of like how it slides in here. Right? So I'm holding them better side by side. I'm going to take this LED and put it in. And this is how it's in there. I'm trying to show you as best as I can. So the contacts are basically, you know, right in the right framed in there. It's going right in sideways. And I'm gonna take this pokey thing. I'm gonna press against the back of it and push it down in there. And it's pulling this one in, so I'm gonna line the head of this one once again in sideways and push it in this one's actually going really well take this one and guide it in I think you can see that and you know these wires here ours can have to get shoved in as well and it does take some force and eventually these two are going to mash up against each other inside the case that's what I keep pushing because it needs to be all the way in there to the point where these contacts aren't sticking up past the edge of the space where the LED holder is going to go so the bulbs ought to be all in there and then some for the contacts and then I'm also going to shove this orange wire into some of that empty space down there besides the contacts and I use a tool on this multi-tool but you can probably find something to kind of get in there and come in from this way I'm just going to kind of line everything up Okay, so I poked most of that wiring down to the inside so it's near those contacts in there. And I'm start pushing in the base of this. Right. And I'm going to flatten the base so I can get the top in. This involves bending. It's a lot of bending. It's okay. So I'm going to show you what's happening from all angles. 
as I work this thing in here. Definitely want to have it centered in there. And let's see if that's working. I'm gonna, you're going to have to push. See the bottom is not lining there. You have to push down on that, but that's okay. You can use four fingers here. And one finger back latched onto here. Make sure this doesn't come out. Tip that. And that's looking super nice. So now to finish something like this off. So we take tape. And not too big of a piece is way too big. And get in there and wrap that like so. And I'd say do that maybe five more times, and then you'll be done securing that in place.